All right, so we are back inside a machine. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I want to focus in on this 808 and how you can really shape the sound of your 808 using a plugin that is not really talked about in the machine community. And today, that plugin is Driver. So let me go ahead and show you what this plugin is about. But before I get into it, I need you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. So whenever I drop a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial which is shaping the 808. So before I get into driver, I first want to get into the 808 and go over some prerequisites on what I did. So let me go ahead and play the 808 sound by itself. All right, so the first thing I did was add an EQ and that's just gonna basically, you can see what I did here is adding 4 dB at uh, 144 and I kind of, cut down on the gain a little bit because it got a little bit louder. So I boosted 4 dB here and I cut the 4 dB here. And this, again, this is just a gain here, but I gained it on the low end uh, there. I cut out all the high end and uh, just gave it a little boost at 2 dB at a 413.9, as you can see right here on the screen. So with that engaged, this is the sound that I have right here. All right, so again, before. After. So you can hear how it kind of just smooths out that 808. The next thing I added was this uh, Puig Tech EQ by Waves. And it looks something like this. This is uh, based off the EQ P1A. And uh, let me go ahead and show you how it sounds here once engaged. So with this plugin, you can kind of hear how that 808 is being boosted and have it boosted at the five here. And I also got an attenuation at five. So it just kind of gives it that nice little curve, uh, boosting at about 60 Hertz. And then right here, I'm also boosting, this is supposed to be the high frequency, even though there's no high frequency in here. Um, it's, I'm just trying to like really distort it and bring some of that 8K back that I kind of rolled off earlier, if that kind of makes sense there. So again, this is with the out. And this is with it in. So just really add something to the track. And this is more for uh, like a tonal sound. And then next I added another EQ. And this is the solid EQ. Again, this is for more of like a sound, kind of sound shaping. And this just really adds some of that beef to the track. So again, with it out. and then engage. So I'm really pushing it with the solid EQ. And last but not least, what you guys all came here for probably is the driver. Hopefully you learned some other tips on the way. If you did hit the like button. So this is driver it does not come with machine, but the cool thing about it is that you can get it with the complete upgrade or anything in that nature. Sometimes it might even be free. If you go to their website, you can always check it out. But this thing is really a workhorse when it comes to filtering out distortion, uh, has a resonance filter. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So this is with it on. And then off. And so the cool thing about this, you could really come in here and really mess with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with the resonance here and just see what we can come up with.
So it just kind of adds a sense of definition to the track. And that's what I really like about this plugin. So this is Driver. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in, and we are out.